I'm Sunil Dhaliwal. I'm a venture capitalist. I have invested in startups for the last 14 years. And in five minutes, I'm going to tell you the five reasons I think startups fail. Uh, so fun fact number one is I collect t-shirts, startup t-shirts, and I collect them the way that Adam Jacob collects death metal t-shirts. And if you want me to wear your startup t-shirt, send me one. I wear a large. Um, but sadly, uh, all these t-shirts that I have are, are oftentimes the only thing I have left when these startups fail. Uh, it's true. I've got expensive coffee mugs. I've got expensive uh, trash keys and keychain holders. I'll tell you the time that I got into a car accident and the paramedics, before they put me in the helicopter, cut a $25 million t-shirt off me. Um, sometimes they cost $2 million, sometimes they cost $25 million. The t-shirts co cost a lot. And uh, 25 million is my most expensive t-shirt, by the way. That is some serious fucking failure. <laughs> but if you're an early stage venture capitalist, failure is just part of what you do. It, it happens, right? We don't get them all right. Startups go under. Uh, shit happens. And uh, every failure is definitely unique in its own way. But they're all very similar, actually. And, and there's five reasons that they can fail. Leadership, focus. Who cares? I'll come back to what that means. Did you watch the clock? I'll also come back to what that means. And the product didn't work. Um, so we're going to talk about all five of these in the next four minutes. So number one is pretty key. That's leadership. This could be about you. It could be the CEO that you hire. Uh, but it starts here. And if you ask me to predict one thing that drives startup success, it's this. right? Great, great leaders. Great leaders get people to follow them through thick and through thin. They have vision. They have purpose. And they refuse to lose. And when they get it right, it's gorgeous, and you have amazing things that happen, and you need to focus on this. You need to believe in the people who are running your companies. Now, if you get it wrong, things can go bad pretty quickly. The wrong leaders make big mistakes, and they make big mistakes fast. And big, fast mistakes sink startups quickly. And that can be an experience, and it can be hubris, it could be both. Um, so number two is focus. So who likes Chinese buffets? I like Chinese buffets, all right? I don't mind them. I like them. Um, Chinese buffets are often good. They are rarely great. Um, sometimes they're okay. Sometimes they're, they're kind of crappy, but they don't ever get Michelin stars. And, and the reason is, is that greatness, greatness comes from, from one thing, and that is simplicity. Uh, simplicity comes from focus. In companies that fail, they do many things in one mediocre way. And companies that succeed, they do one thing, but they do that one thing brilliantly. So be like a cupcake in your startup. Don't be like the Chinese buffet. Um, the third thing we're going to talk about is who cares. Now, who knows who this guy is? I'll give you a ton of money if you know who this guy is. Anybody? His name is Luca Hani. Luca Hani has the number one song in Switzerland right now. Nobody gives a shit. <laughs> But he's in the king of his world. He has, saw, he has cracked the Swiss market for teeny bopper music right now. And he is on riding high, right? In his sandbox, he is king. And startups is the same thing, right? People need to care. You've got to solve real problems for real people. And if you need to have enough of these people to have a real business, right? So you could solve something somebody might care, but if only two people care, that doesn't work. So don't do something clever. Do something valuable. You know, that matters. Number four is watch the clock, right? Everybody says that startups and startups, time is money. Time is money. Startups is the absolute truth in startup land. And startups fail because they don't watch the clock. You know, you ask a startup CEO how much money he's got left, he doesn't give you a dollar figure. He tells you how much time he's got left. I got a month of cash left. I got three months. I got 12 months. I got a year, whatever. It's the oxygen that startups breathe. It is the water that they drink. Cash is king. And great startups think about cash above all else, right? The ones that are going to win are the ones who fill up at half, when the tank's half full. The ones who lose are circling the block, looking for a gas station at 3 a.m. when the red light is on. You don't want to be that company. So number five, number five, here's a little secret. Number five is not why software startups fail. Science risk doesn't really happen in software startups. I have yet to meet the one that says, we tried everything, but we just couldn't figure out that problem. So that's the end of my time. Here are the companies I don't think that are going to fail, and I, and I hope they're not going to fail. I don't think they're going to fail because I've given them my money. Um, you can sense a theme. They're all DevOps and IT infrastructure heavy, and if you're thinking about starting something, come talk to me. 
and we'll figure out something that won't fail together. <laughs>